Things that nobody told me about Kenya before I came here. Let's get into it. What's up, bro? I'm fine. All right, cool. You go? Okay. All right. All right, guys. First things first. Transport means here in Kenya. Now, we've got so many transport means here in Kenya. One of them I'm using right now, Uber. All right, so in Kenya, you can use Ubers, you can use border borders. Um, in some places, um, especially in Mombasa, you can use tuk-tuks, which you guys from Asia might call rickshaws. And also, there's um, public transport, uh, public transportation like matatus as well. And of course, we can use trains as well, which I've been using when I've been going up and down from Nairobi to Mombasa, from Mombasa to Nairobi. All right, forms of transport here in Kenya. A lot of variety. So we're in an Uber or on the way. And also, these Ubers, you can use them in Nairobi and also in Mombasa as well. Hello? So, yeah, I, I that's number one. All right, another thing that nobody told me about Kenya is um, the M-Pesa system. One of my favorite things since I've been here in Kenya. So, you take an Uber ride or any form of transport, you get to your final destination right now, you give your Uber driver, um, the Uber driver gives you the phone number and then you type it in and you just make payment that way. So, let's do this. All right, my friend, how much is it? Uh, 190. Okay, cool. There you go, phone number. All right, guys, it's a simple system. So you give him the phone, he types in his number and the amount that you need to pay. Then he gives it back to you and then you confirm the payment. Simple. Um, all right. How much you said it was? 190. 190, yeah? Yeah. All right, my friend. Okay, as simple as that. And then you confirm, press send. There you go, and it tells you. There you go, you got it? Okay. All right, thanks, bro. All right, guys, as simple as that. Oh, my friend, thanks. Okay. Okay. All right, so, as simple as that. So, you use transport, use your M-Pesa system to pay. Very simple. So, your boy is right here. And another thing that nobody told me about, you know, Kenya, amazing clean streets. They keep their streets very, very clean. Um, as you can see, this outside the mall, very clean all the way down there, as you can see. So, I'm about to go into the mall. I'm gonna go through security, of course. And use the cash machine. All right, I'll continue once I get inside. Okay, guys, so we made it inside. Um, apparently, you're not allowed to film inside this mall. This is Sarit Mall. Um, I've been here before, like a few weeks ago when I first came in. But I'm not here to move around to show you around. If you haven't seen those videos yet, go to my old videos that I dropped when I got here, but I need to use a cash machine here. Another thing nobody told me about Kenya or Nairobi overall, like amazing malls, as you can see, very modernized. Um, I've walked this mall before, so you guys know how it looks like. Okay, another thing nobody told me about Nairobi. You foreigners, you can come here and use your ATM cards. Um, actually, it's it. 24 hours, ATMs. There we go. You can use your visas and mastercards when you come to nairobi so let me get my card um hopefully this one won't be charging all right it looks like it's working guys so yeah it's kind of the bundle let's take the card and there's the money there we go okay so that was quick okay guys so like i just showed you I just finished using the ATM um, ATM machine. So that's another thing that nobody told me about Kenya, that when you come to Kenya, ATMs are everywhere, they're available everywhere for you to use your, um, your foreign cards. Wherever you come from, you can use your cards here. Visa, debits, and all of that stuff. So another amazing thing. So, and the good thing is that literally everywhere you go, if you're in Nairobi, you can come into a mall like this, ATMs are available. You can go to Westlands, where I normally go to, on the streets, they're available. These ones here, I just use them 24 seven. So <laughs> yeah, no excuses. So now that I've got the peas, I need to go down and find the mall, find the safari comb, 
uh, shop for me to put my money on my M-Pesa system, my M-Pesa account. The boy needs to go do some shopping because I, I came back from Mombasa yesterday and yeah. Oh, I think we can use one of these people here. She's right. Oh, she, but the problem is I might not be able to do it in here in the mall because I don't have my physical passport. Damn. Hi. Um, quick question. Can I can I um, deposit money on my Mpesa system from here? But I don't have my physical passport. It's okay? Ah oh, perfect. Alright guys, so give me a second. Okay, so we're done talking up the, the Mpesa. So we're gonna go. Um let's do a bit of shopping. While I give you more, um, while I tell you more of the things that nobody told me about Kenya. So let me try exit here and then I'll continue the bit. Are these guys taking a ride. Hello. <laughs> the London tour bus. Yeah, you can find a lot of those buses in a lot of malls. And obviously, I showed it before, one of my first videos. But also like when I was in Pakistan and India as well, it's a good touch. I think mainly it's for kids to take them around the mall, but adults can use them too. So yeah, in case you didn't know about Kenya, they've got those too. Okay, so now that we're back on the streets, all right, let this guy go past. Now that we're back on the streets, let's talk about the Impesa system that I just spoke about, right? Yeah, loads of cars are just like not letting people cross. It's a Sunday today, so it's supposed to be quiet apparently here in Nairobi. People are supposed to be relaxing at home, but looks like people are like, most people are out and about in their cars. Come on guys, damn it, come on. <laughs> the boy needs to cross the road. So the Mpesa system, like I just, I keep screaming about it, man. It's my favorite thing since I've been in Kenya. So, to give you a bit of history about the Mpesa system, apparently, okay. Kenya was the first country in the world to um, adopt this system. Um, the cashless system where, well, the, the Mpesa system where you can pay, um, you can pay for things like transport, um, go buy goods on your phone. Now, a few African countries like Uganda have adopted a similar system called mobile money but it's not exactly the same as M-Pesa so it was Kenya who started this thing so yeah I had to give them the props you know you have to give them credit where it's due shout out to Kenya all right we're on the roads again this area called Westlands and I'm going to that way to do a bit more shopping before I head back to my apartment so let me cross over all right, these are the streets of Kenya, right? So much green as well, man, which is a beautiful thing. All right, guys, another thing that nobody told me about Kenya before I came here, most places, and I mean most places, are safe to walk through um, or to move around in. At night, here in Nairobi, I've been here, this is my second time, like I keep saying, I've been here a few times and I've always felt safe. I haven't been, you know, I haven't felt any type of way. Um, I move around at night, I've been out a few times at night and I've always felt safe. So, most places are cool to walk around during night time. All right. So don't let them lie to you. Even when you go to, um, even when you go to places like uh, Mombasa as well, they're safe to walk around at night as well. So yeah, another thing nobody told me about Kenya. So. Don't let people lie to you and tell you that you know Kenya is dangerous and all of that. Of course, just like anywhere around the world, there they are places where you shouldn't go to at night if you know, if you know what I mean. But here, most places that I've been to, they've been safe. So yeah. Another thing that nobody told me about Kenya before I got here, the city, it's a clean city full of skyscrapers. Big buildings like those, but the streets are kept very clean. As I'm gonna show you now, well, as you can see, more tall buildings. All right. So when I'm here in Nairobi, I literally keep saying to you people that Nairobi reminds me of London. So I nicknamed Nairobi Mini London or Little London. Oh, maybe Kenya 
is a sister is England's sister. Let's let's call it that. Okay. It's amazing like everywhere I go, most of the places I go to, even at night when I'm on the roads, when I'm driving on uh, highways, they remind me of London. Another thing that nobody told me about Kenya before I came here. Let's talk restaurants. Now, nobody told me that Kenya had loads of Western restaurants. Now, what do you think I'm talking about? Right on cue, actually. I'm talking about Pizza Hut. Oh, Domino Pizzas. And right next to it, what do we have right next to it? Right next to Domino Pizzas, we've got KFC. And they're all huge as well. And you can order, you can dine in, or you can order as well. KFC is right there. And if you're driving, you can drive through, they've got a drive through as well. And also, you can dine in if you're hungry. Come to KFC and get something to eat. Hello. What's up, people? I just met this cool gentleman here. What's your name, bro? James. James. Yes. Nice to meet you. You're yes. from here, Nairobi? I'm from Nairobi. Oh, okay. What yes. about you? I'm Kennedy. I'm from Nairobi. Kennedy from Nairobi. Yeah. What about you? Bulanga. Bulanga from Nairobi, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? Okay, tell me maybe two amazing things about Kenya or Nairobi. Hey, hi, my brother, how are you? What's up? Oh, one, one, one. Okay, okay. <laughs> from nowhere. From nowhere. From nowhere. <laughs> this guy is from, from nowhere. nowhere. Yeah. This guy just came and get crushed. Yes, 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 of course. And he's from <laughs> nowhere. I'm good. Yes, okay. yes. Nice hat. Uh, okay. The next one. Okay. Uh, guys, yeah. guys, give me two amazing things yeah. about Kenya. In case anybody who's watching yeah. that's never been are to Kenya. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from London. Okay. You're from London? Yeah. Kenya oh, you're different. You, but you know Everyone. Nairobi reminds me of London. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me maybe maybe two two things, two okay. things, maybe two things. Okay. Let's start with you. Nairobi, okay. Nairobi is wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's attractive to business, mm -hmm. tourists. Yep. Okay? Yep. And um, full of friendly people. Of like course. me, I'm a friendly person to this guy here. Exactly. Full yes. of friendly people. Yes. What about you, my friend? <laughs> Our country is very good environment with everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it serves everyone. Everyone who comes here, we are very friendly to yes. yes. All right. Very welcoming. Yeah. Mm. Okay, what about you, my friend? I don't think we love friends mm -hmm. and uh, we welcome everybody for business trip in Nairobi mm -hmm. and even tourism is very easy in Nairobi we have uh, like Nairobi uh, which is very close very close here yeah. yeah. we have the Mombasa. Mombasa yes, is very close here, yeah, it's just yes, yes, six yes. hours drive yes, on the yeah. road. Oh, so and the SGR train as well. Yeah. Yes. Of yeah. yeah. What me, about you, you want to what, what I can say, okay. we, we welcome everybody here. Uh -huh. Not only in Nairobi. Everywhere. So everywhere. City, everywhere. Mombasa, everywhere. Like, yes. yeah, everywhere is good for everybody. Yes. Too. We, are, we are welcome everybody here. Yes. Of course. Akuna Matata. Yes, Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. Oh, yeah. We are security with this people. Okay, guys, so you heard it here. They're very welcoming. I've been, you know, welcomed everywhere I've gone. I went to Mombasa, as you guys know. And I'm back in Nairobi and I met these cool guys. So, guys. Thank nice. you. Are you going to Another thing that nobody told me about you Kenya before I came. Like I'm not recording you, bro. You're the one that's coming to me, so you can go. Anyway, this guy, this guy, I was talking to those guys over there, and then as you can saw, guys, he just walked into the shop. He brought himself to me. <laughs> then afterwards, like he was trying to ask, for, uh, trying to ask me for money. So I'm like, okay. And then after, he's like, oh, but you can't just record anybody like that. Now look, he's hustling somebody else. He's hustling that lady. <laughs> But anyway, back to our schedule. Another thing that nobody told me about Kenya in general, the nightlife in Kenya, man. Amazing nightlife. Here in Nairobi, and also when I went to Mombasa, nightlife is very good. It literally reminds me of um, nightlife in Uganda, in Kampala in general. Um, nice clubs, they play a lot of good music, popular music, um, obviously, um, um, Afro beats, rap, um, dancehall music, and also um, they play a lot of um, ama pianos as well. So you come to Nairobi or Kenya in general, you go to Nairobi or you go to Mombasa, the, all the nightclubs are very good as well. They're even bars as well. And they also, my favorite, they serve shisha. Even though somebody or some people might tell you that shisha is illegal here, that's a lie. <laughs> they openly serve it everywhere. So nightlife is very good. And also, what I like about the nightlife, the clubs are huge like i went to um i didn't film um when i came here this time around when i first came back here and i went to um some place here. i don't want to say the name and it was huge literally 
you can walk around for like 10 minutes this place was huge they had an outside area had like a balcony outside the club as well it's a huge club so nightlife here in kenya is amazing yeah what's up you send it to Brugu. yeah what's the name of it now gopro Go? gopro gopro yeah the gopro oh and it, so you can record yourself and also if you want to record something else you can look on it all right so guys earlier i was talking about western um restaurants um being here in kenya right now you guys remember um you if you're from london or whatever you know this restaurant called uh, nando's right that sells chicken and all of that good stuff but here they used to have it here in kenya apparently but they changed the name to galitos so i'm gonna go in there and check it out and see um if the menus are the same okay guys so i just left the restaurant galitos so yeah the lady that works inside confirmed it for me that it is true it is what they used to call nando's and then they changed the name to galitos so yeah anyway let's move on to our regular schedule <laughs> so another thing that nobody told me about kenya before i came here kenya has arguably the best internet here in east africa hands down since i've been here no issues with internet everywhere you go you go to mombasa or nairobi you don't lose network they've got up to from like 4g they can actually go up to 5g as well so best internet arguably here in east africa in kenya so that's another thing that nobody told me even the wi-fi when you go to apartments or hotels whatever the wi-fi is very quick to upload as well when you're uploading videos upload speeds are very very fast in case you content creators want to come here thinking about hmm wondering about the internet kenya's got one of the best internets ever and it's cheap as well because i'll tell you what so last time when i was there i was there over two weeks ago right and i went to kampala when i went to kampala i bought two sim cards when i was there right so i leave and i go to kampala and i take out my sim cards and i start and i put my sim cards back that i use when i'm in kampala and then two weeks later or just over 10 days i came back to nairobi like this time around right when i crossed over i put my sim cards back in my phones there were sim cards that i was using here and the internet was still on so what i paid for i paid for a monthly package on my internet so when i was back here my internet was still running so yeah and up to now up to now i only uh topped up again maybe oh when i was in mombasa actually a few days ago when i was in mombasa that's when i topped up again my internet was still running so here in kenya if you pay for a monthly internet package it will last for a month apparently well that's what mine was running for a month so even when i went to kampala my sim card was out on my phone i come back the internet was still on so if it's a monthly package it will run you know as you know monthly package not what they tell you in uganda you buy a weekly you use it for a day or two and it finishes depending on how how much you're using the internet so internet here in kenya thumbs up and another thing about internet as well here in kenya but the only thing about um talking about phones and internet and stuff like that i don't know if it's just about me so guys be careful when you come to kenya though right when you take when you switch your phone off um when you phone your, your your phone off it will ask you for a pin code and a puk code right those um the numbers they give you when you're purchasing a sim card so i don't know if it happens for you guys if you when you visit kenya in general or it just happens to me so i'm always on standby to make sure my phone doesn't die or i don't switch my phone off because <laughs> if i switch it off say for example right now i'm out filming for you guys right so if my phone was to die i'll have to go back to my apartment to get my codes for me to enter the codes to let me back in the phone so i don't know if it's just me so be uh, aware when you come um make sure you keep those um the card the, the, the little strip they give you when you buy your sim card keep those because they give you the pins they're on there with the puk codes as well so keep those safe because if your phone switches off they might ask you to enter them in there so anyway let's move on all right guys another thing that nobody told me about kenya in general well so far in my experience apartments accommodation it's cheaper than you know some places that i've been to now i'll give you an example right the apartment i'm staying in right now is five thousand shillings okay per night now this is a literally a studio um a studio apartment right where you get your living area you get your bathroom and bedroom and kitchen area right so it's spacious it's amazing for one person as well good security hello good security um you're literally in, inside the compound as well 
and the security here what i've realized security here in kenya they're so tight when you order food like on uber eats or even when you get an uber you, you just order a normal uber right to come and pick you up if you're going somewhere yo these guys are so like strict here yeah, with security here yeah. if you don't go down to meet your uber driver or you don't go down to get your food they don't allow nobody in so they'll tell you come and get your food at the gate <laughs> they won't allow nobody to come inside without you going to get them i guess it's good for security but yeah security is tight when you come here so another thing so we spoke about internet accommodation accommodation is pretty cheap but then again i think it will all depend on what area you're staying in because i stay in westlands at the moment so it might be me saying five thousand reasonable to me maybe to somebody else it might not be reasonable so yeah but then again i'm sure if you go to places that are cheaper than westlands i'm sure you can find cheaper alternatives yeah like Airbnb or like even on airbnbs or booking.com i'm sure there's cheaper you know alternatives all right just make sure you check before you book let's move on another thing that nobody told me about nairobi oh kenya in general listen guys for you people who drink alcohol yeah like your boy here alcohol is cheap here in kenya now you're probably wondering really how cheap now apparently there's a reason to it now in mombasa obviously kenya has a port which is in mombasa so they are able to import things in so therefore they've got no problem you know importing a lot of things even when you're in uganda people wanna if people wanna import cars in uganda they use mombasa as a port so if you order a car uh if you're in uganda and you order a car you want to import it to uganda from like say europe or asia or whatever it arrives in mombasa here in kenya before they actually bring it to you in uganda so kenya has its own port which is in mombasa so they easily import a lot of things so alcohol apparently that's why it's cheap now for example you go to a club to a night bar to a bar or a club right and you order a bottle of like johnny walker for example um sometimes you can order it for like six thousand shillings here yeah. Or if you go to like high-end clubs, it's like 8,000 shillings. Now, you do the maths, you do the numbers, convert, convert it to your local currency. But that's cheaper than, you know, how much you pay if you're in Uganda. Uganda alcohol is fucking expensive in most clubs anyway. But yeah, that's something nobody told me. Alcohol is cheap when you go to clubs here or bars here. Oh yeah, and a smaller bottle, which is 750 milliliters, it could be like maybe 5,000, which is... It's not too much so lastly but not least beaches here lastly but not least something that people didn't tell me before i came to kenya it was just rumors that i was hearing but it was true i found out myself kenya mombasa they have some of the best beaches you you're gonna find in the world white sand beaches when you go to places like diani or when you go to other places like lamu that i didn't get to check out in lamu but i went to diani in mombasa so Kenya has some of the best beaches that you're gonna find white be white sand beaches so forget you know forget you know um, you go to the what's what's this place that everybody wanna go to um, I forgot the name anyway but it doesn't matter today is about Kenya so Kenya has some of the best beaches so if you're looking for white sand beaches come to Kenya come to Mombasa so guys I wanted to make this video for you guys to let you know things that I didn't know that I found out when I go to Kenya so I'll catch you in the next one. We're here in Westland. Your boy's hungry. I'm gonna go eat some galitos. What they used to call Nando's before. Okay. Like, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. Roll to 10k subs. I'll catch you in the next one.